Hey, what's up? Welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to polish stainless steel. Um, my plane, so we're in, at the hangar, but my plane is getting annualed, so I have all these pieces off the plane that I'm polishing while they're off, so like spinner, the grills, which is an awful lot like a BMW grill. Um, but the new thing is I, I bought a new stainless steel exhaust set because my old set was really ratty and it had really bad heat muffs that were leaking all over, so this is a full stainless steel set. Really excited to get it on the plane and maybe have some heat in the winter, you know, as people do. Um, the finish, it, it's clean, but it does, it, it's not shiny. So we're going to polish these, not to perfection, and, and like this, there's a lot of ways to polish stainless steel. This probably isn't the best way. This is the way that's going to get these on my plane the quickest because I got a million other things I need to do. So we're going we're gonna to go from this to this which to me a professional detailer is an acceptable finish um, there, there are like I said there's many ways to polish stainless steel a lot of it involves a lot of sanding ahead of time with special like pipe sanders I don't want to go buy a pipe sander so we're going to use a dual action sander and uh, then we're going to use Nuvite compounds and a rotary to polish it up so these stainless steel pipes they have a somewhat brushed finish on them, but there's also just a little bit of a dimpling and a pitting going on in there. Um, to get that out, we, we can't polish that out, we have to sand it out. Now, we could just polish this as is, and I will show you what that will look like, um, but it, it doesn't take that much more work to, to sand it real quick before polishing. This one I already did. Did a quick polish on it just for comparison's sake. I'll probably end up redoing it actually. Um, but if I can get the whole thing to look like this, I'll be pretty happy. All right, so let's say we wanted this done as fast as possible. We're going to take some Nuvite F9, which is the most aggressive. Oh, I guess there's F10, which is more aggressive. We're going to get some on there. See how gritty that is? We're going to take a wool pad. This is the Optimum Hyper Wool Pad. Rotary, higher speed, and we're just going to go to town on it, and I'll show you what happens. So, did we get it shiny? Yes, we actually did. It's reflective, and unless you look really closely, you're not gonna see that texture, right? Now this will make a really short video, so let me show you the texture. You can kinda see that little bit of pitting in there, right? Again, I don't care if that's in there. It's an exhaust for crying out loud. But, this is going to be a really short video if I call it good now, so we're going to sand it. So we're going to use the Mirka Saros sander with a 3 inch backing plate and an interface pad. Since I don't have 3 inch sandpaper of the grit I want, I'm going to get some 600 grit and we're going to make our own. It's going to be pretty sloppy. This is honestly probably one of the sloppiest videos I've ever made. Okay, boom, 600 grit. Probably start more aggressive, but I think 600 will be fine. So we're just gonna sand this area here, and that way we can compare textures. Okay, let's zoom in and see what that looks like. So you see all the sanding scratches there? And here we have the pitting. Okay, now we are going to aggressively compound it again. Get some of that F9 on there. Oh, that's way too much. Just take forever polishing if you put that much on.
Okay, so here's the area that we just quickly polished. You can kind of see my forehead in there. Um, here's the area we sand it. You can see my face almost better. So the, the depth of gloss is a little bit better. So if you look more closely, you can see that there's still a little bit of pitting. Not as much as here. So to get that out, we would just have to sand more. Is it worth doing that? If I didn't have a damn YouTube channel, no, it wouldn't be worth. But since you guys are watching... So I could polish this with progressively finer grades, but I just left it at F9. What I did do is get all the scratches lined up. So if you look at that rotary pad, you notice it's a foam pad. At the 12 o'clock position where it's touching the metal, the pad is moving more or less in a horizontal direction. So it's moving from left to right. If I were to polish with the 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock position, that pad's moving up or down. So my scratches would also be up or down scratches. By lining up all my scratches from left to right, it kind of gives that same brushed appearance and the holograms aren't as distracting. After getting that alignment in, I cleaned off the pipes with acetone and um, this product isn't available yet, but I'm working on a metal ceramic coating. So that's what is being sprayed on here. When it is available, you'll know about it because it'll be on the channel. So don't ask me if it's available yet. If it is, there will be a link in the description. Hopefully, um, I'm mostly making this for aluminum. Hopefully it'll work on stainless. So I figured these exhaust pipes are gonna be a good test. And there you have it. A quick emphasis on quick stainless steel polishing tutorial. This is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted some shine out of those pipes. There are better ways to do this. There are more perfect ways to do this, but this is the quickest. Thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe.